Whoever said that roosters can't fly, let's take flying cock to new heights. About as quickly as this beer is downed, we're going to prove to you how our three ideas will progress and expand your business for now and the future. Dave, you've come to us because the flying cock's potential is being cock-blocked by a number of issues. Firstly, lunch covers are low. Secondly, people are leaving long before closing time. And thirdly, you're neglecting half of your venue space during the week. We are here to help you smash a solid 10. So, you want more lunch covers? Well, we intend to increase them by 60%. Sound good? We're aiming to do this by the end of the 2016 financial year. Sound even better? Let's shift the lunchtime perception from pub to dining. We want to encourage suits and friends to bring their dollars down here and enjoy the flying cocks atmosphere. This means fingers to cutlery. No more messy eating. Let's have knives and forks. Not to forget our funky hipster friends with their burgers and chips, we're simply adding a sharp menu for the local professionals. Media coverage in local magazines left in offices, cafes, newsstands and all sorts of random places scattered around Brisbane will help spread the word. For further reach, welcome to the Flying Cox website, accessible both on web and mobile. A digital first point of call for people wanting to find out more about that Flying Cox place. More professional, more integrated, more accessible, priceless. Let's invite groovy reviewers and well-known bloggers to post about our delicious, well-priced food and ultimately increase lunchtime awareness. To get the new menu buzzing, let's make dreams come true and literally grow money on trees. Outside of nearby businesses, eye-catching money coupons will be strung from nearby trees. Step one, find a money tree. Step two, take your money to the flying cock for lunch. Step three, post a photo on social media with the hashtag TFC Money Tree and then 20% will come off your bill. This will maximise reach and ensure that nearby business people will come in for a tasty bite. How's old mate doing? Did we get him another drink? Good. That's what you want and that's what we intend on increasing by 30% by the end of the 2016 financial year. We want to keep the cocks and the hens in the pen. From dining to drinking, let's make the Flying Cock a one-stop shop for nights out. What we know, the Flying Cock takes pride in the neat array of craft beers on tap. We also know that these craft beers attract customers and lots of them. So let's get them in and drinking more of it. Let's take the journey and hail the ale with the beer passport. How it works, collect all of the stamps of a select number of craft beers on tap and receive a free standard drink of your choice. The Beer Passport encourages both consumption and sampling of in-house products. Think pub crawl, but for craft beers on tap exclusively at the Flying Cock, it creates a competitive atmosphere on those late nights out and a thirst-quenching incentive to come back during the daily grind. More beer for them, more money for you. So how does this allure persist until the crack of dawn? Rest assured that we have an idea that will make people flock to the cock. We call it clucky hours, up late, 1am to 2am, $5 basics, and then 2am to 3am, munchies at the bar. As wallets become thinner and the midnight munchies kick in, the Flying Cock provides the goods, offering cheap drinks and snacks, ensuring the night kicks on until the morning rooster crows. Still with us? Of course you are. We've hatched an idea that we'll see the Flying Cock booking three functions per week. Also, by the end of the 2016 financial year. It's time we maximise the usage of venue floor space at the Flying Cock, introducing the barn. You know the barn, it's that killer space that comes alive on a Friday and Saturday night, but it collects dust during the week. From celebration to corporate, the barn will become the it space for Brisbane's various functions. So how do we wake this space up from its slumber? The website will showcase the venue, while EDMs and PR explicitly target those corporate cocks for business-related functions. Let's spread our wings and promote the barn. Let's make those close-to-home businesses feel that just a little bit more special and send them some personalised invitations to utilise our space. Hand-feed them some good old TLC and they'll hand-feed us their money. Well, there you have it. Three solutions to unblock the cock. Are you ready? We are. We've set our sights on the horizon for the end of the 2016 financial year by measuring the increase in covers, revenue and bookings. While ambitious, the solutions are justified. 
Like the legendary cereal Nutrigrain said back in the 90s, you only get out what you put in. Whoever said that roosters can't fly? Let's take flying cock to new heights.